of the Finance Committee. We've done our counting of members, so we have a quorum. And there is no one here from the public, so there will be no public comment lacking the public. So the first thing we need to do is approve the Finance Committee minutes of November 20. Do we have a motion? Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Okay. Then the other business is to talk about the elected official compensation. And this is obviously something that is going to be discussed thoroughly at council. How much do you want to go over here? Or do you want to just? And I know you. I think you're the one that moved to send it here. Um, but it really is something that the committee as a whole is going to talk about. Is there something specific about? The orders are in front of us. You wanted us to discuss at this level? Uh, yes. Okay. After this, let me kick. Then the floor is yours. Should we go ordinance by ordinance? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. Um, with respect to the, I'll uh, start the first one, just the, the benefits and expenses ordinance. Mm -hmm. uh, it looks to me, if I understand correctly, that this ordinance, which is, which is, which is on, on recognition there, uh, it retains the benefits that are previously offered. Mm -hmm. It doesn't change that. It doesn't change that. So um, I just want to say that I, su I support this ordinance as written, mm -hmm. as, without changes. And, and here's why, um, for several reasons. But I, I read I read the report, of course, of the, mm -hmm. of the committee, and. Um, and I listened to some of the comments <coughs> that the committee offered, and they acknowledge that there's no template or playbook on how to proceed. Mm -hmm. um, yet, they also said that health insurance is not equitable, appropriate, or a best practice. I'm not, that, that, I, I, that, that comment confused me, because the, in the report, the eight surrounding cities benchmark, the, out of the eight cities, everyone except one provided it. Um, so that's seven out of eight provided it. That's 89%, and the average salary was $7,333. Um, and in the surrounding 23 cities benchmark, 17 out of 23 cities allowed for health insurance, and that's 74%. So I'm not sure where they came up. I mean, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know where the conclusion is that it's inappropriate, unfair, and, a be, and not a best practice. Um, from, from, there, from that, looking at that, there seems to be no trend to removing it at all. Um, you know, they, most of the mo most of the recommendations are based on comparisons to other communities. Yet, the vast majority. This one, of, they discount. Right. Yeah. Right. Exactly. And and um, so, you know, I won't go on, but I just I I, 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 I didn't understand where they where they found any unfairness. And um, the average in health insurance plan for an individual in Massachusetts is about eight thousand dollars a year. If you're a ward counselor, you get nine thousand dollars a year. If this passed without health insurance benefits, that means that you would be getting about, you know, one thousand dollars after. And, and, and the committee said there was no intent to create a net loss, so that created greater confusion for me. So I'll, I'll, that's all. I, I'll, I'll leave it at that for now. Okay. I, I would agree. I would agree. Concur with Councilor yeah, Adams. It would be nice to be able to ask them this question. Mm -hmm. Okay, Councilor Barr, <coughs> anything more to add to what <coughs> Councilor Adams had to say? On the mayor's position. Uh, relative just to the benefits, that's a personal word. Yeah. That it should be left the way it is. I don't have a problem with it. Okay. So do you want to do you want to vote on these as we go along? Sure. Okay. You want to make a motion on this one? I'll make a motion to send uh, the benefits and expenses ordinances forward to the full city council with a positive recommendation. Do a second. Okay. okay. Any more discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Aye. And then the next one. <coughs> Is the ordinance for compensation? I think for council. That's the next one, right? Mm -hmm. So do you have your comments all worked out? Your comments on this one? I mean, this one is a result of their survey, right? I mean, this one is sort of supported by the research they did. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. I, I have mm -hmm. no comments on this one. Mm -hmm. Right. They they mm -hmm. did research other mm -hmm. towns like Springfield and East Hampton, and so I think East Hampton was lower than others. Mm -hmm. And uh, and it's true that that the current 
payment to city councilors precedes even you on the council, right? This goes back before you were even a councilor. Way back. 24, 25 years, right? Yes, I think it's 25, or maybe they don't, that's as far as they can see. Just as far as they can see. Yep. Well, they don't have records beyond that. Never ever did I ever see it raised. No. And, no. and you're what, 16 years? 17. 17 now? When the, when this, yeah. And as you said, you looked at the survey for this and it's supported by the surrounding community survey. That seemed more mm -hmm. mine. Yeah. So, do um, have a motion on this one? Make a motion to approve the compensation With a of positive the official. Second? Second. Any more discussion on this one at all? No? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. <clears throat> and the next one is the city clerk. And, uh, and this again was a result of surveys, correct? All right, I'd like to speak on Oh, that. please do. It says, until January 4th, 2016, as of January 4th, 2016, and if you look at the charter, she is not treated like we are. She could actually start the beginning of the new year. So that's something to look at. The raise could take place in, at the beginning of fiscal 2016. So theoretically, we need to amend this. So can I just explain to you mm -hmm. how we came up with this format? Mm -hmm. All of these um, particular uh, items or the, the positions actually are going to be in a table. And they are currently in a table on the website. So you have the position here. and. Um, then you have what the salary is going to be mm -hmm. once you guys approve mm -hmm. it. And then one of them, only one of them is going to take place immediately, and that's the city clerk. Mm -hmm. So when her position is listed, it will say that sh this is the salary upon approval of the ordinance. And then as of t January 2015, all of the other salaries are going to change. Mm -hmm. So all of your salaries are going to be at that five thousand dollar level until until so the next council's sworn in, yes. same with the mayor. Yeah, January so, two thousand sixteen. Right when, so, the, when the next oh, council. It's different. No, because I know she's coming. She can be right away. Mm -hmm. So the um the the way that this is going to play out is that you'll vote on it. Mm -hmm. It'll go to council for a first reading mm -hmm. on the twentieth of. of uh, December. Wouldn't it be on our fourth agenda? It won't be because it can't get posted. It, 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 no, it, it's going to rule. Oh, yeah. So then, on that committee. So then, once it goes to rules, then you'll yeah. have it on your second December meeting, and then it, then you only have one meeting in January, and that's January fifteenth. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so that's. Mm -hmm. Although conceivably. You know, not not that we want to rush the other, but we could do two readings yes, on the twentieth for just the clerk, mm -hmm. so that she could start at the beginning of the year. Exactly. With the with the new salary. Can, can she start at the beginning of twenty fifteen, or would it have to be fiscal year twenty sixteen? January first, as of as of, oh, it can be yeah. January first. Oh, I, I think thought, she's I different was, than we are. I thought it was I thought it was I thought it was July first, yeah. the first of fiscal year. Mm -hmm. Maybe I misunderstood. Yeah, because I think if we. If you look at the charter, Jesse, she's not treated like we are. Yeah, because I think mm -hmm. it's. Um, you know, we, we we can't change compensation for ourselves as mayor till the beginning of another the next exactly. term. So the people who are around in January, if we get sworn into January, we'll get whatever the new salaries are. Mm -hmm. But I have another point on this, if there's on the clerk's mm -hmm. raise. Uh, mm -hmm. Based on the the surrounding cities benchmark. The 23 surrounding cities mm -hmm. benchmark. The average was 75,679. Mm -hmm. Yet, and then based on the average of comparably sized Western Mass cities, mm -hmm. 74,000. Mm -hmm. And so they came up with it. 71. 71. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, when, exactly. but when doing the mayor's analysis, the 23 surrounding cities benchmark was 93, 91,396. So they recommended 92,500. Mm -hmm. So. They, yeah. For, but I know there are different, many different factors, yeah. so it's not. But it's, not that but it's like both both statistics are higher than what they recommended. 
top. No, yeah. no, no. The, the, she's lower. She's lower. Well, that's she's, what I mean. But both of the statistics would indicate a higher salary. Right. And she for some be, reason, they recommended this random lower number. She well, should well, be like seventy-four five. But the, for the the twenty-three surrounding cities benchmark for mayors mm -hmm. is ninety-one thousand three hundred ninety-six. That's right. They recommended ninety-two thousand five hundred. Mm -hmm. So they went slightly above that. Mm -hmm. For the same. You know that that same standard at 20 is 26 yeah. surrounding benchmark is for, for the clerk is um, 75,679. They recommend 71,250. So I so and and, and, and if, I so I think I, I think we should you know the the, the, the clerk's office has, has been historically understaffed and overworked. I, I think we I think we should consider <coughs> raising it to 74,000. 74. <clears throat> I also feel that we need to look at the big picture here with the city clerk's office. You have the registers, plus you have Wendy and them who have a birthing hospital. How many other hospitals have a birthing hospital? <clears throat> they have to do birth certificates and everything, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, what I'm, um, I certainly don't have any problems if we approve this and then add a recommendation that it that there should be consideration given to the fact that the statistics used support an even higher number and yeah. uh, and maybe we can convince the mayor to change the recommendation for council well we I mean we could also do we could do we could do that we could also make a motion here to change it we could also make, give no recommendation and say the reason why we gave no recommendation is because we should the statistics mm -hmm. possibly suggest <clears throat> It would be even more fair to mm -hmm. give higher than it's recommended. And and I'm assuming we could make that send that to the mayor, and it still has to go to ordinance, and it could get changed for there. You know, we could say we're not going to give this one a recommendation because we think it actually supports a higher number, and then see if the mayor will, when, by the time it goes to ordinance, make the recommendation that it get raised. Where are they going to come and <clears throat> is it at council that they're going to be available to answer questions? I mean, that's another thing. It would just be—it would be nice to know what their reasoning was. And I know they seem reluctant to come and answer for the report, but I think they acquiesced in the end. Because um, they were here when they submitted it, but they didn't yeah. really answer questions. Well, we didn't—we didn't ask them. I mean, we sort of <coughs> just said decided not to ask them <coughs> then. But it would be nice to be able to mm -hmm. understand where they came up with these things. Mm -hmm. Well, if they don't want to come, the whole council we stick to come to ordinance. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Because I really feel like Wendy and whoever mm -hmm. were looking at giving them a yeah. harder pay still. Yeah. My question is, why would we have to get the okay from the mayor? Yeah, I, I don't, I don't know. If I mean, I, is he giving an okay for his right? No, he just, you know, the, he he's the maker. You know, he he sponsored these, so they came from him, which is why I'm suggesting that, you know, we certainly could return it without an endorsement, but with a request that it actually get raised to reflect the average number and see if he, you know, if he'd willingly change it. I mean, we can change it at council. Okay. You know? we, just to point out, okay. um, sorry, go ahead. No, no, no. Um, the, the, the council president sponsored the mayor's race, or proposed race. The mayor, but the mayor, he, just, he did the other ones. So, I mean, but, but I mean, we could also move to raise it here if we chose to. Yes, we can do that. <clears throat> so, but we can also send it forward with no recommendation and say why. Mm -hmm. So, right. What's your What's your pleasure? I mean, craft a motion. I would like to recommend it here. Do you, okay. So you want to recommend? Do we go to Don't recommend it be higher and, and not, not and not that. not recommend the current number? Uh, uh, and just say well. Well, we I mean, we're we not going to send it with a positive, but we do recommend you raise it to reflect the average of the salary survey. Well, but I think what she's saying is mm. she, want, she wants to make a motion to amend it right here and send is it on. Is that what you that. wanted to do also, or did you just want to not make a recommendation, but with the idea of <coughs> possibly raising it? I, mm. I don't know how Yeah, because it's that. certainly... The only reason I'm suggesting that we, we don't endorse it but attach our recommendation to raise it is just to give the mayor a shot at agreeing to do that. Because when it comes to council, if he says, no, I want it this way, and it comes to council this way, we could amend it right at council when everybody's here to deal with it. And, you know,
you could say, listen, you know, we had this discussion, the mayor chose not to do it, but we feel that it should be done and put it on the floor and just change it. As soon as it gets presented, just amend it at council. But we could amend it at council. I'm not sure if the mayor could, after it's been submitted, just unilaterally no, but he certainly he's, this. But he could acquiesce to it happening. Well, right, right. Yeah, right. It's a friend. I would, ex I would accept you raising okay. it. You know. Well, I'll make a motion to send it forward with no recommendation. And the basis for no recommendation is because this committee believes that the statistics justify it. justify a higher increase. Mm -hmm. And I think about seventy-four thousand dollars, but I don't know if that's going too far. That's, that's my motion. Second, I'll second it. And third, and seconded, and got a third recommendation. Right. No Question. Thanks. Now, would we be asking like Wendy to come or whoever to speak at City Council? I don't. I don't think, it's I don't I think, think they should. No, well, if she wants so to that come. So you really understand what her job mm -hmm. is all about because there's a tremendous amount of work that they do in that office. Correct, Pam? Mm -hmm. Tremendous. Mm -hmm. And I think listening to what our city clerk has to say, just like our assistant clerk, who now has a part-time position also <laughs> in her office, it's like, let her speak. I feel like I understand what, her, what the position is. A lot of people on yeah. the outside don't, though. Mm -hmm. But they're the ones voting on it. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, I, I mean... Or even at ordinance, I just, don't care. My so thought I is, think people you know, need to she hear. certainly is welcome to come, and if you think she should be recognized, move to recognize her, and, you know, I, I don't think we should, we, we should insist she come, but if she wants to come oh, and want to recognize her, because I know she'd come. She'd be welcome. Yeah. And I, I think, that, so, I, um, the, my, my motion is to move forward without a recommendation, yeah. suggest $74,000, yeah. and also hope that the mayor can weigh in if he chooses. Yes, yeah. between now and when we get around. So, any more discussion on that? All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. And then uh, the next one is the mayor from 80,000 to 925, and you just, I think you just went over the averages for the mayor. All right, right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Any other discussion on the mayor? You want to, somebody want to make a motion on this one? Motion to send forward with a positive recommendation as as, as, as presented. I really thought this was going to be higher. Mm -hmm. I was surprised at that. Well, it's. It's always a hard thing to do. <laughs> yep. Um, any more, no more discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. And then the last one of these is raising at-large school committee from 2,500 to 5,500. Ward school committee member from 2,500 to 5,000. The trustees of Smith vote from 2,500 to 5,000. The elector under the will of Oliver Smith would stay at $10 and the Trustees under the will of Charles Forbes and Community Preservation at large did not receive compensation before and would not receive compensation now. So we got a motion on this one? Motion to yeah. send forward the positive I'll recommendation. Second. Okay. Any more discussion on this one? No. No? No. No. All right. Then all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Well, no one can be opposed. We're all in favor. David, excuse me. Um, the electric under the Isle of Smith will. How much was it before? Ten dollars. That's by will. No, I don't think so. That's a city. It's city compensation. And okay. and speaking as the Oliver Swift elector since Jake Foley died, I've <laughs> never seen ten, ten bucks at any point. So no, it's no big okay. thing. <laughs> No, it's, no, I've never been paid ten bucks, but that's fine with me. Don't worry about it. <laughs> that's right, you're on it. I'm the person, yeah, and I've been I've been that doing that longer than I've been on the council, and I've never seen my ten bucks a year. But I've also not made a fuss about it, so let's not not worry about that one. If if I ever get a windfall and I get paid, we'll have pizza. <laughs> um, so, is there any? new business that we would not have known about. No? Then uh, a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. All right, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.